The mysterious skeleton found near the UC Berkeley campus has now become a homicide investigation. Police say forensic evidence shows the person was killed. NBC Bay Area's Valina Jones is in Berkeley today talking with students and alumni about what could be a nearly 15 year murder. UC Berkeley police are putting a name to the human remains police first learned about back in January. They've identified the man as 37 year old Stephen McCrary. Investigator say McCrary had no known affiliation to the school. He was last seen back in 2009. Police want to know who killed him and why. I think that that there needs to be some sort of justice served. Police are investigating the death as a homicide because of trauma found on the bones, but are not releasing any other information, including when he was killed. The remains were discovered on the Clark Kerr campus at an unoccupied building used as storage space for the university. The building has been out of use since the late 70s. The mysterious homicide has students and alumni questioning what happened. That's horrible. That's really scary, um, especially, yeah, going to school here. It's just uh, very confusing to me. Not sure what to think of it, honestly. McCrary was from Texas and known to travel around the country by trains and hitchhiking. Police say he spent time in the Bay Area but did not have a known residence at the time of his death. As investigators look for a suspect for a crime that could have happened more than a decade ago, UC Berkeley community members are hoping the family gets closure soon. Whatever kind of investigation is occurring, that it's resolved as soon as possible so that the person's soul could just rest. In Berkeley, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.